Hi, Shooting Marvel. Ernie Hill here, just to uh, show you a few things. Uh, let me start out by uh, a little bit of history of the holster and the twist draw. Let me, uh, let me just show you something. Here's an Alfonso holster. This was standard for the sport for many, many, many years until yours truly came along and zeroed in and produced a holster that actually uh, positioned the gun where it was supposed to be. Uh, Alfonso Panetta was, was a wonderful leather man, um, but uh, he wasn't a shooter. So let me just say that, that Kurt Blakemore actually in 1959 at the Walk and Draw level contest, you didn't have to hit anything. So it was just uh, a, a, a level shot that qualified uh, and the fastest level shot qualified as the winner. So, rather than drawing the gun straight up, whatever it is, drawing the gun straight, uh, Kurt Blakemore realized that twisting the gun leveled the gun faster. So, <laughs> he, he invented the twist draw. Uh, didn't have to hit anything, just had to be level. So, anyway, it was, you can, you can actually see the gun, if it's straight draw, there's a lot of work to be done, like cowboy shooting, and they got that draw perfected, like Copperhead Kid, they shoot well, okay? But the fastest way to shoot a single action is to twist the gun, because you can see that it gets the barrel level instantly. So, Kurt Blakemore, thank you very much. So, as a kid, uh, I grew up and watching Bob Munden twist out of holsters like this, and it, and it can be done quickly, but try hitting something with it. So in the sport of fast draw, we have a speed event, which is shooting at a four inch balloon at eight feet with a blank load. So the accuracy level, um, even though it's challenging, you have, you can get away with blank shooting, and level the gun quickly, and all good, successfully. So anyway, so the Alfonso came along, and in about 1976, I told my dad, I said, Papa, my gun isn't sitting in the right position out of this Alfonso holster. I need it differently. So, in 1976, <laughs> It only took a month to build this thing, but this is it. And I actually set the record in 1976 for the accuracy event, which is a steel silhouette target from 15 feet. And the gun sat in here. What I did was, I just made the boot bigger. Uh, on the Alfonso holster, all the shooters would take and use a baseball bat and blow out this boot larger because larger is faster. Uh, the gun was too tight on the Alfonso holster, so they all blew these out. So, I solved that problem by making the boot a little bit larger. So the guns could sit in there like that, and I perfected twisting out of this holster. Uh, I perfected twisting out of the Alfonso number two holster, by the way, too, but anyway. This made it a little bit easier because the boot was larger. So, the gun, again, the, gu the barrel gets level quicker twisting the gun than straight up and down traditional draw. That's where the, sport of, the evolution of the sport of fast draw, um, uh, it became a passion of mine to learn how to twist the, twist the pistol and actually hit something with it. So out of this rig in 1976, our accuracy event from 15 feet away on our standard man-sized silhouette target, difficult to hit, as everyone knows. But I uh, successfully hit five in a row out of this rig at a 27.4 average. That's, uh, that's 27.4 hundredths of a second. So anyway, that's what happened out of Old Faithful right here. 
Um, that was my first rig. I, I, could, I could shoot straight out of it if I wanted to, but it really was set up perfectly for twisting. Okay? Then, in 1982, through evolution and uh, even a larger boot, because there is a WFDA gauge in which I ingeniously um, realized that the gauge needle could, could stay the same uh, even if I elongated the boot and made it larger. So what happens, even though the barrel looks open, when you set the gauge at the front of the holster, the needle comes down and it doesn't touch the barrel, which makes it legal. So, the larger boot became the standard uh, for, for fast rock twisting. And every holster maker had no choice but to copy my design. So, anyway, that's a whole other story. This is my uh, speed twisting rig. We'll, we'll go over that later. Uh, but, for the art of twisting, There are two types of twist rods. There's one for accuracy, uh, which can be shot quickly, obviously, but there is one for accuracy in a higher rig, a medium shank rig, uh, which I have on. Uh, this actually is Mr. Greg Castillo's holster. Uh, hope you don't mind, Greg, me uh, using your new holster to demo uh, the twist rod. So um, let me do one more. Here's another holster, which was a traditional holster made in 1998. You can see the boot is small, but I cut away the left side, still legal because it can be drawn straight or it makes a beautiful accuracy twisting holster. So any holster can be twisted out of, it's just a matter of talent and learning to draw. And it can be very, very accurate as I proved. Uh, uh, several times. My first time in the world record in 1976. So that's that. Now, it brings us to the, these are the twisting rigs that I'm shipping out, and many, many shooters have them now. So, hence the video. I want to show these shooters how to actually use their holster because the twist rod is foreign to them. So, let me, let me just. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. Let me tie this down. So, the twist draw is really, really simple. Again, just try to hit something with it. But now that you know that twisting the gun, and you know what? In thumbing, I can show you. In thumbing, in thumbing, you can go straight, you can go, that's the fastest way, an actual inside draw. Just thought I would lay that on you. Anyway, I kind of know the art of twisting. So what we have here is a medium, uh, medium drop twisting rig. It is great because it's the right height to get to, to where you can actually and, and the hip is the most important thing in a draw. As you can see, if I pop the hip, the gun is actually already cleared the holster. So the hip is everything. If you just use all arms, it's just slower <laughs> and harder to get to. So the idea is to pop the hip and the steel runs from this bottom shank clear up into the hip for that very reason. So for twisting, you pop the hip, and it's the grip of the gun and the wrist that literally uh, lifts the barrel up on target, and then you fan. So, it's like a one-two. This isn't speed twisting, although it's fast, but it's an accurate way of shooting wax once you learn where the barrel's at. So, let me just say that you pop the hip, you squeeze the gun, and the stance is important too. You stand with your right foot a little bit forward, 
and then you go up in about face. What that does is it lines the barrel up with the target. You stand square, obviously, it's, <laughs> it's pointing left, you're not going to be able to hit anything. So you line up with your right foot forward. That's, that's what lines the barrel up with the target, you can see, okay? So, obviously, this gun's been empty for many moons. Still empty, okay? So, here we go, shooter in line, shooter set, and you pot the hip, the barrel levels, and you know what, for accurate shooting, what you wanna do is never, ever chase the hammer. Uh, and so many people use this dump draw that they're actually chasing the hammer. So if you chase the hammer, what happens? You're chasing the hammer and it's so much slower if you just, if anything, just stay there, lift it up straight and fan it, it's just much quicker. You never want to chase the hammer and literally draw the gun back. So what happens is when you do make the draw, you come up, you fan it, and the momentum will carry the gun back. It looks like you're going back, but you're not. The idea is to pop the hip and hit it here and then follow through. You never want to try to lock in the pistol. You don't want to do that. It's just the barrel quivers all over the place. You want to, you, you want to twist it. And you want to let it follow through okay so even in accurate shooting so this is what you do pop the hip pop the hip the gun is there you lift it up straight fan it and you can do that very very accurately so one more time guns in position you ready you pop the hip you just simply lift the gun straight up. Don't draw back, you're chasing the hammer. You're losing 200 of a second that way when you do that. So, pop the hip, lift the pistol, and then the fan happens. And for accurate shooting, it's a different hand position than my speed shooting, which I'll do at another time. <clears throat> Out of my long shank rig and my world record .208, out of that long shank holster. It's a whole different draw. This is the accuracy draw to where your hand, actually, your hand position doesn't need to be right on the hammer. You need a little bit of one-two timing involved, so your hand needs to be out a little bit. To give you time, this isn't the fastest draw that you can use. This is for accuracy, so it's slot shooting. You want to find a happy rhythm, a happy spot, Pop the hip, lift up, fan, follow through. Okay, so the hand position, unlike speed twisting, is off the hammer a little bit, maybe about three inches. So then you can sit there, pop the hip, lift the pistol, and fan on target. Okay, so that's what you do. I can get into the speed twisting, which takes another holster because this isn't your max. Sure, I can shoot extremely quick out of this holster, right? But I'll show you the difference between accuracy shooting, right? Accuracy shooting versus my speed shooting um, on another video, okay? God bless, take care. I hope this helps a little bit. Bye-bye.